Hello, TMNT slash Motu fans. This is JAR369, and welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Turtles of Grey Skull Slager figure made by Mattel. Take a look at the packaging. You can see just the usual Turtles of Grey Skull deluxe packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure and the accessory. Build a figure of Mo Metal Bot Botto here. You get a cool artwork images of Slaker right there. On the side, you get the image of Slaker. On the other side, a different pose version of Slaker. And on the back, you get the cool artwork image. And there's like a little bio about the character. So yeah, pause the video if you want to read it. And there's like the image of the metal bottle figure. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's take out Slaker out of the package. Here is Laker out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Man, take a look at the head sculpt here. Yeah, I'd say they did really a great job with this head sculpt. Well, even though this is supposed to be a, a mixture of Slash and Faker, but, but the bio is, reads that this is actually Faker with Slash's design. But still pretty good. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. You get the greeny teeth right there. You get like a little robotic eye there. And you can see like the little metal-ish robotic parts there. And there's some battle damage, like scars there. Uh, the arms, well, there's nothing much on the arms I can say about it. Just plain Masters of the Universe type arms. And you get like the holding on stuff accessories on the wrist there. You get the shoulder pads with some horns to it. And you can see the, uh, I'm guessing the backwards S or, or it looks like a Z. So, so yeah, pretty much. You get a little loincloth there. You get like the little like turtle toes on there as well. On the back, there's like two pickles on the bottom. There's two pickles for the, uh, on the back there. And on the bottom... Two pickles on the bottom of his feet there and some legalese there as well. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think I yeah, I think I say Mattel did a really great job with this. And take off the head here just for that, because I want to show you the little background thing behind the, the shell. And you can see like the well, not sure you could see it, but there's like a little it's like similar to faker, but like with pizza and everything. Yeah, that looks pretty cool for details to it. So yeah, pretty cool printing on the on the figure. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's put back the head here like so, there we go. So yeah. Moving on to articulation, the head does have a ball joint there. Arms do go fully rotate and does go in and out. And at the elbows, rotate. Wrists do rotate and those have the hinge, waist rotation, legs kick forward and back in and out, bend at the knees, rotate, upper leg, ro upper feet rotation, ankles to go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. Looks like it's a rotation there. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. Pretty good articulation for a Motu line. But you can still give him some decent amount of posabilities on him. Accessories, he does come with his shell, his turtle shell here. And you can see there's like a little hole, there's a little sh handle on the back. You can make it as, as a shield. But I'm not sure how you do it, so I'm just gonna display him looking like on the sh on the on the shield right there, that's for sure. And he does come with two of those little daggers here that you can put them on his hand, or you can like put it on his like on the back here. But there's like that's how that's how it will fit. Or let me do this the other side. Nope, still not fit. But you can still put them on his. Let me do this off camera. Do -do -do. So 
Not the other one. There we go. There he is. Much better. Yeah. Looks pretty badass with this. So, yeah. And also, he does come with this trading card. This giant trading card there. With a cool artwork image of Slaker right there on the back. Mutagen Master Powers. Faker. Near Perfect. He-Man Replica. Superhuman String. And Robotic Endoskeleton. Slash Evil Mutated Snapping Turtle. Psycho with a Spiked Shell. And ooze for brains. <laughs> so yeah, looks pretty cool. And also came with instructions to tell you which limbs are removable. So yeah, same thing as the previous Motu Origins figures. And finally, since this figure is part of the Turtles of Grey Skull metal bottle wave, he does come with the lower torso and the head of metal bottle here so yeah looks so yeah probably might build these very soon let me just set them up straight like so so yeah but overall for the figure itself i say this figure looks pretty cool yeah they did really a great job with this figure yeah they did really a not too bad at all very cool looking figure i would say the um the sculpting on the figure looks pretty cool Articulation is just a standard, like, origins articulation, but you can still give them some decent amount of pose abilities. But overall, the accessory-wise, nothing much, but still pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely, well, I wouldn't say I highly recommend it since this figure is now discontinued from Target, including online. So, yeah. So, good luck, good luck, good luck finding for this figure on, on E on eBay for a reasonable price. I got mine at Target for 10 bucks, 10.39. So yeah. I got lucky cuz I saw like on the one of those card things and I picked it up quickly and then boom, there. So yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this figure. For my rate on this figure, I'll give Slaker a 9 out of 10 for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Turtles of Grey Skull Slaker figure made by Mattel. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.